Hi, my name is Henry Sengerman. This is Hinged Flat Taurus. Uh, so in order to explain what this is about, uh, let's bring on a uh, sort of more, more usual picture of a torus, so a sort of donut shape. Um, so it's a surface and it's got a hole that goes through it. And this is the same shape. Well, you, if you squish this one around, you're going to get that. Um, if I filled in all these square holes and these sort of triangular pleated uh, faces, then I get the same surface as, as the usual torus. Now, um, so this torus has uh, a sort of tiling on it with squares. Um, and if you count, there's 10 squares around this way. Um, and there's also 10 squares if you go around this way. And so you can think of the torus, or this particular torus, as really being a 10 by 10 uh, grid of squares. Um, but of course, I can't fold this one up to make that torus. I guess I can go one way, but then if I try and bend it the other way, it doesn't work. Um, uh, the, the sort of curvature screws it up. It doesn't want to do. Um, it doesn't doesn't want to turn into this kind of torus. And of course, I mean, it couldn't possibly because um, some of these things are squares, but some of them are uh, trapeziums, so that won't work. However, this one does indeed unfold out into a flat shape. Um, and the point of all this somehow is that uh, the geometry on the torus is Euclidean. Um, so here's a, a, a shape that will tile the Euclidean, the Euclidean plane. So if I had another copy of this, I could just translate it over here and it would fit on here. And if I translate it up, then it will also fit together. And that's true for the for the square, so you can think about the geometry of the torus just using a square, I should be able to tile it this way um, because moving from, if I move across here um, and I go off this edge, then I should come on this edge, it gets glued together uh, like this when you make the torus. Um, but you can't demonstrate that in Euclidean space, uh, well you can't demonstrate this moving from the two-dimensional Euclidean space to um, embed the surface in three-dimensional Euclidean space. And with this one, you can. It's a, it's a little bit fiddly to put back together again. Um, it's not so bad. You just have to sort of get these things to go into the right notches. Um, here we go. That looks pretty good. And then uh, it's sort of important. It's just, um, I should mention, um, there's just some of the hinges are just cut in half so that uh, the, the, the barrels of the hinges just sort of uh, um, uh, touch onto the, um, the rods, um, but it's not held in. So if you hold it together uh, on the side here, then it seems to be pretty good holding together. So this is a hinged flat torus.